Hey, Hickok here. Good morning, everybody. I'm on my morning bike ride. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in Middle Tennessee. You can see the uh, tobacco patch here on the right. The fellows are in process of harvesting that tobacco. In fact, I think I see some of them in the field right now. These are some of the county roads back behind where I live, and same road that I live on, actually. You can see the tobacco hanging there in the rack where they've cut it. You see several of those racks in the field here. They uh, let it dry out for a few days if uh, there's no rain in the forecast, and it just hangs there in the sun, and they take it to the barn. And some of it they actually uh, smoke in the barn. Well, they don't smoke it. That happens later, right? They uh, build a fire in the barn with uh, hickory slabs, uh, as I understand. And uh, they actually uh, smoke it like you'd smoke a turkey. Uh, they turn the barn into a smokehouse. And uh, you can see some of that pretty close there now. And that cures it, does something to it, to make it better before they strip of the leaves off and, and sell it but uh, but anyway I'm riding back through the, the county here uh, I like to do this in the early morning or late afternoon find a time when there's little or no traffic on the road there's not much traffic anyway on these these back roads I ride else I wouldn't ride them cars are annoying to me and I know bikers are annoying to cars so uh, as a driver myself I don't I don't enjoy having a lot of bikers in the way and I know they don't either but they're usually really respectful of me because I look like a neighbor and I think they know me I've been riding back through here for six or eight years and uh, they can pretty well spot me as big as I am and uh, I never dress like Lance Armstrong I'm in my cargo shorts and a, an orange blaze orange t-shirt that's very fitting in Tennessee I like to be seen when I'm on the road, not felt. I want to be seen, not felt by the front tires of some big truck. So uh, I don't look like your average biker, which is typical of me. Usually a little different in most ways. Anybody would ride down the road with a, one hand on the handlebars and one hand holding a camera, a little different too. Isn't it? But I thought maybe some of you folks that especially who live in the city those are cows if you live in New York City uh, that's a barn but if you uh, don't get out into the country much maybe this would be interesting to, to some people it's uh, my neighborhood so to speak farmhouses and barns oh there's new developments here and there of course as there are everywhere because I'm only about 30 minutes from Nashville Hear that cow? He didn't like being filmed. So uh, these are the the rolling hills and fields and woods of Middle Tennessee. You're looking at for those of you in Switzerland or Australia, England, all the various places I get email from. Uh, might find it interesting to see a little bit of Middle Tennessee. And of course, this is just a sampling of it. There are other areas around here that have higher hills and bigger farms and kind of thing. Here's somebody out working this morning. We'll see what he's up to. He'll really think I'm strange. Good morning. I hope he didn't hear me. Uh, the motor on his four-wheeler drowned me out. It's funny, on a bike ride, sometimes you can ride right up on somebody. I came right up on somebody messing around the back of their pickup truck the other day, right alongside the road. And startled the heck out of them, because you don't really hear a bicycle coming. That happens with horses quite often. They'll be standing by the fence grazing mindlessly, and then all of a sudden there's a big ugly dude on a bike four feet from them, and they jump like crazy. They need to get me one of those little pink horns and put on the handlebars, I guess. Uh, so, riding along, enjoying the Tennessee countryside. 
not a lot I can, uh, I guess, teach you about other than maybe the tobacco, if you uh, haven't seen that before, that people are raising and they're harvesting right now. That, in fact, was a tobacco patch right there. They've uh, cut it and they've already plowed under the stalks and everything, so it's over with till next year. And coming up, we have some barns and, oh goody, we have a uh, barn where they're actually smoking the tobacco and we'll be able to see it clearly. But uh, it's behind these trees up here. Now within about a week or two on these rides, uh, most of these barns will appear to be on fire. I don't know if you can see that one, but it has smoke coming out of it. So they're smoking the tobacco. Yeah, I think you can probably tell. And I'm sure a lot of these barns by the road that are smoking like that to get people to stop and tell them that their barn's on fire. You know, I don't know how many times they get that. But uh, that's what they do with the tobacco. So we're cruising on up the road here and uh, through some, some more of this countryside. If, uh, if you haven't biked since you were a little tyke, because you don't, I don't know, just haven't done it. Uh, don't trust the traffic. You live in a busy area. I encourage you to find a spot where you can bike where there's no traffic because it is a lot of fun. I've biked most of my life. I'm not a hardcore biker. I have a nice road bike and a nice mountain bike. And I just ride them when I'm in the mood. Maybe go five miles, maybe go 20. But uh, I just enjoy it. Nothing like it, getting out on a bike. And uh, you don't have to be a Lance Armstrong look-alike. I know you see the folks out there in their leotards and you think, never me. Well, me either, really. Not that I worry about what people think or how I look, but I, I don't know. I'm not trying to ruin a race or uh, break any land speed records. So what difference does it make? Uh, what I'm wearing and how much wind resistance there is. In fact, wouldn't matter to me if I had a sail on my back to slow me down. You know, I'm riding for the exercise, not to see how fast I can go. If you've ever been up to 25 or 30 on a bike, that is really fast, really fast, and uh, almost scary still to me. So I'm not interested in high speed. I'm too big, too old to be bouncing off the pavement. That happened once when a dog ran out into me about three years ago. I was going about 20 miles an hour, so I'm a little paranoid about that speed. But uh, it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun getting out on the bike and uh, enjoying, enjoying the road and the wind in your face. And you might not want to hold a camera too often while you're doing it like I'm doing right now. You could have an accident. But uh, anyway, a little biking activity here through the hills of Tennessee and the back roads of Middle Tennessee specifically, northwest of Nashville. Y'all take care.